Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your fifth HTML tutorial. Um, in the last couple tutorials, we learned how to add and uh, format text to our web page. So this is the code for what we've already done here. And uh, this is what it ends up looking like. But in this tutorial, we're going to do something a little bit different, but it's still kind of similar to doing things like this. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add images to our web page. Um, it, it's really simple. It only requires one tag and no closing tag. So in order to do that, let's just delete some of our the stuff up here just to clean things up. Um, I'm going to delete everything except the header, the first web page header. So if we'll save that, it'll look like this. Okay, so now we have a basic first web page and a blank space. To add an image, you need to either know the image's URL, uh, where it is on the internet, or where it is on your computer. Um, in, in my case, the image is on my desktop. It's a picture of a tree I took. And since it's on my desktop, I don't need to know the full URL. I only need to know the file name. And that's because if an image or other file is in the same folder as the web page itself, you only need to know the file name. You don't need to know like desktop slash uh, image slash. You, you only need to know the file name. So in my instance, I call the image tree because it's a picture I took of a tree. Um, so in order to add an image, you need to use the image tag, which looks like this: img. Uh, that means image src, which is the location of the image. Um, so all you need to do is put an equal sign in quotation marks, and that's it. That's the tag right here. So between these quotation marks, um, similar to uh, like the font tag or something like that, you need to put in a value. And our value is going to be the image file or the image location. So we're going to enter in the name of the image tree. Dot jpg. Oops. And this is the this is the name of the file that I saved. If you have an image that's a GIF, you need to enter in uh, the correct extension, otherwise it won't work. So if we go ahead and save this and refresh our web page over here, you can see that we have the image. Uh, it's the tree successfully loaded onto the web page. However, it is huge. So there's actually a way you can resize this image right from within the HTML, HTML document itself. So in order to do that, you go over here, uh, back in between your uh, next to your quotation marks here, and you hit the space bar, and then you can type in uh, the height attribute equals, and then another set of quotation marks, and also you can enter in the width w i d t h attribute. In this is how you can resize a picture without actually having to do much of anything. So let's say that we want the tree to be. Uh, 150 by 150 pixels wide uh, and tall. So all you need to do is enter in height 150 and over here in width 150 and you save it and come over here to our web page again and refresh. You have a pretty good looking image of a tree. Um, it's a lot smaller than it previously was. Um, so yeah, this is this is how you can resize an image. Actually if you come over here and click on the image and click view image you can still see that it's a lot bigger than what it was. Um, and this is this is just like a preview of the image. You can still see the original image uh, and its original size by right-clicking and clicking View. But anyway, back to our web page here. Let's say that you want to actually resize the image instead of in pixels, in percentages. I, I want the image to be this percent um, bigger or smaller than it was. So all you need to do for that is enter in uh, a percent sign afterwards. So if you want it to be 150 percent, um, rather than just what it was, 100%. Enter in your percentages here, save, go over to the web page, and resize, and you'll notice that uh, it's probably got a little bit bigger. So, what we can do now is we can actually set it to, let's say, 25%, and 25% again. Save that, come over here, and you'll notice that the image is smaller and a little bit more distorted. So. If you want to have the image, um, th you know, in, in good proportions, like it, the original image was, you're going to have to play around until you find the, um, you know, exact proportions of the image. Um, I liked it when it looked like 150 pixels by 150 pixels, so we'll change it back to that. Save, take a look, and I, I think this looks pretty nice. So. Let's say that, however, it looks like uh, you don't really know where the picture ends over here, whereas um, there's uh, looks kind of like it's kind of some white space up there in the sky. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually add a border to the image, kind of like a picture frame, if you will. And all you need to do to do that 
is right within the same image tag. You add a space um, after the width quotation mark there, and then type in border equals oops oops uh, equals, and then you're going to put your quotation marks again. Basically, any time you need to add a value or change something, you should have some quotation marks in there. So we're going to enter border equals, we'll say 2, for 2 pixels. And that's going to be how thick the border is. And we'll save it, we'll come over here. And you can see that we have uh, a nice border around our image here. Uh, you can change the border size to whatever you want. If you want to have a smaller border, you can say 1 pixel. Save. And there you go, I think this looks quite nice. So, the image now, uh, you can actually change the color of the border. Um, but we're not going to really get into that here. Um, but it's the same, basically. You can add a, a different tag and change the color. So if you want to, um, the image ta tag is kind of similar to any other tag. You can actually center it and uh, space it the way you want. So we're going to put a space, uh, we're going to center our image, rather, sorry, and um, put it in the middle of the web page because it looks kind of off kilter over here. So what we're going to do for that is enter this, uh, use the center tag, just like you would for text or something. Save our web page, come over here, and refresh. And there you go. I think it looks uh, really nice. Everything looks uniform now that the image is centered. Um, so yeah, this is basic the basics to adding an image to a web page. Um, there is no closing tag for images, and you can you can enter different attributes to change the way the image looks or is displayed within the page here. So um, please feel free to subscribe if you like these tutorials. Also, please feel free to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash jamiemcg and for more tech news, tips, tricks, how-tos please feel free to visit technicalcafe.com um, thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorial